Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We're going to be doing another extreme budget grocery haul with a meal plan. I've done a 20 meal, $20 meal plan at Aldi now twice. I will link those videos down below, but I've never done one at Walmart. So I'm going to take this time $25 into Walmart. I'm going to see what I can get and I'm going to be making five meals this week for a family of four. So let's get shopping. The first thing I'm gonna do is look for a good potato option here. Potatoes are very filling, and so as I'm looking here, the best bang for your buck is this five pound bag of russet potatoes. I'm also going to be needing some lettuce for a couple of meals. I prefer romaine lettuce, but when you're on a tight budget, I'm gonna go for the cheaper option, which is the iceberg lettuce. I'm going to need some protein for these meals, and you cannot beat this smoke sausage at Walmart for $1.22. So I'm definitely getting that. And dried beans is another great source of protein. So I'm going to grab some black beans. Hey y'all, I'm back from my grocery shopping. I went to Walmart and then I did have to end up running into Food Lion for one item that Walmart did not have. I am feeling really good about this extreme grocery budget challenge. My budget was $25. I did end up spending $26.52, but I feel like I'm gonna get some really good meals out of this and we're gonna be doing five meals. So I think that's gonna be pretty good. Each meal that I cook this week, I will break down the cost of that one particular meal. And so let me turn you around, show you what we got, and then we're gonna get to cooking these five meals. Okay, here's what we got. I went to Walmart and got most of the items. Only got one thing from Food Lion. My budget is $25. And at Walmart, I spent $20.13. So I was feeling pretty good about that. So let me show you what I got at Walmart. I got an eight ounce block of sharp cheddar cheese that will be going in a recipe some of this John Morrell smoked sausage. This is such a great buy, only $1.22. That's gonna be going in a recipe. I got this five pound bag of russet potatoes. It was like $3 and some change. That's gonna be going in two meals. And so I'm excited about that. I also got some iceberg lettuce that I wanna use in two meals, tomatoes that I wanna use in two meals. I also got two squash that I'm going to be using in a meal as well. I then got a one pound bag of black beans. That's going in two recipes. I got some flour tortillas that I'm going to be using in two recipes. Canned goods, I got a can of green beans, a can of corn, a can of evaporated milk. I also got a can of chili beans three cans of biscuits, three cans of cream of chicken soup. So that's what I got from Walmart for $20.13. I wanted to get a rotisserie chicken at Walmart, but they did not have any today. So I ran into Food Lion and got this rotisserie chicken. It's going in two recipes. And my total at Food Lion was $6.39. So that brought my total to $26.52. One thing that I do want to say about this Extreme Budget Grocery Challenge, I've done two of these before. Both of them have been at Aldi, and I've had some great meals within that challenge, and I've had some disappointing meals within those challenges as well. And so I'm actually feeling really good about this one because there's not a meal that I'm skeptical about. We'll see how it turns out. But I do feel like I may have gotten more from Walmart to work with than I did when I went to Aldi. Okay, y'all, so it's day one of my extreme $25 grocery challenge, and so, Today, I'm not having to go to work at school. So 
I'm gonna prep some stuff. The first thing I'm gonna do is prep up my one pound of black beans. This is gonna be going into two recipes. I need to sort through my beans and I need to soak them and then I'm gonna cook them up. <clears throat> and then I'm going to break down this rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna pull all the meat off. And then I'm gonna use the bones from this rotisserie chicken to make my own bone broth to go in some recipes as well this week. So let's start prepping. Okay, stage one of meal prep is going. We've got the beans soaking, we've got the chicken ready. I'm gonna put that in the fridge to wait for meals. And I've got my bone broth going on the stove. Okay, my bone broth is done. My beans have been soaking for over an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain my bone broth and get that put in a jar. What I'm thinking for tonight's meal is a soup and sandwich kind of thing. I'm gonna do a play on I think that. I'm gonna make just an easy potato soup, really simple. So I have that five pound bag of potatoes. I'm going to cut up half of those and get those on the stove. And I'm going to get the black beans into the instant pot to cook. That's just being prepped for two meals later on in the week. Now in this $25 challenge, I am going to be using some things that I have on hand in my pantry, like oils or butter, um, spices, salt and pepper, those types of things, that's it. So the spices that I'm gonna be using in my black beans are all things that I just have up in my cabinet. You don't have to use this. You can just do salt and pepper and it will be just as good. But I'm gonna get my black beans in the Instant Pot. I am not measuring, I just, Pour in. That was garlic powder, by the way. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. I also did four cups of water to the one pound of black beans. Minced onion. Cumin. I'm gonna put this on high pressure for about 30 minutes and then we'll do a natural release for 20. Look at all those taters, y'all. Let's get them in the pot. So after I have added my potatoes to the pot, I'm just going to be covering them with water and then I'm going to be adding in some seasonings. I'm going to be using some salt and pepper, of course, but I'm also going to be adding in garlic powder and minced onion to make this soup very flavorful. I'm gonna get it on the stove, let it come to a boil and cook until the potatoes have softened. After I put my potatoes on the stove, I let them come to a boil and soften up. It took about 20 minutes. I then dropped one stick of butter and I'm giving this a stir. I'm then going to take my potato masher and mash these potatoes up. I don't mash them up like mashed potatoes. I like to leave a few chunks, but I'm just going to mash these up and then I'm going to be adding in a can of evaporated milk. That's gonna add a little bit of richness to these potatoes. And then this made a huge pot of soup. So after I poured in the evaporated milk, I give it a stir. I let that kind of simmer on the stove for about 15 minutes and our soup was ready. Next, I'm going to start assembling the chicken wraps. So I have this package of 10 tortillas that I bought the other day. I'm going to use three of them for this meal. I have sliced up one tomato and pulled a few leaves of lettuce and I'm using ranch. Now that was not something I purchased, but I am using things like condiments and 
seasonings and things. And I had this in my fridge. You do not have to use ranch. This would be good without. You could just use mayo. You could use mustard. You could use whatever you have on hand. But I just use a little bit of ranch. And then I put some lettuce. I put on some of the tomato. And then I'm going to take some of the larger breast meat pieces from the rotisserie chicken that I have. I'm going to just kind of tear those into pieces and put that on the wrap as well. This is going to be a yummy meal and it could be great for a lunch option as well. Then I'm going to wrap this up as tightly as I can and then I'm going to be cutting these in half. And here you can see how the wraps look once I cut them in half. I'm thinking of this as kind of a, you know, soup and sandwich twist, but we're gonna do soup and a wrap. Okay, so I've got everything ready for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna flip you around and show you what we've got. I made three of those chicken wraps. I cut them in half, so I made six little chicken wraps. I have a ton of chicken left for another recipe. These wraps, the reason I went ahead and made the potato soup is I didn't think this would be enough to fill my family. Um, but as I was peeling the potatoes and I had all the potato skins, I remembered someone telling me that they would take the potato skins and fry them up. And so if you wanted to do that and serve that alongside of these chicken ranch wraps, this would make two meals, which means you could have six meals out of this $26. The chicken wraps cost about $4.99 to make the three wraps that I cut in half. So, the potato soup, I did half of that five pound bag of roasted potatoes. So that's two and a half pounds of potatoes and a can of evaporated milk. And that's pretty much it. Just some spices and butter that I had. You can make that huge pot of soup for $2.56. So, you can eat this all together like soup and sandwich, or you can make it into two meals. That's up to you. So I serve this with two chicken wraps with a small bowl of soup, and this is what our plates looked like. So my black beans are done now. This is what they look like after 30 minutes, high pressure, 20 minutes, natural release. I'm going to put these in two separate containers. These are gonna be cooling. I'll put them in the fridge, and this will be for two meals later on in the week. All right, guys, we're on day two of our extreme budget grocery trip. So I'm gonna show you how to make this meal two different ways so you can choose how you wanna feed your family. So I have half of the black beans that I cooked yesterday. I have my block of cheese. I'm gonna be using half of that. I have the rest of my flour tortillas. These are the, ten, uh, the medium size. They're like as big as my head. I have seven of those. And I also have um, lettuce and tomato. We're gonna be doing a black bean soft taco. You could make a cheese quesadilla and serve a salad and black beans on the side. Total cost for the ingredients I'm using is only $4.44. So I'm going to take one of the containers of black beans that I made yesterday. I'm going to just heat those up the easy way in the microwave. Here are my tomatoes that I just got a couple days ago at Walmart. They are already moldy so that's not good so i happen to have a jar of salsa in the fridge that i'm going to be using instead of the tomatoes i'm also going to be using some of the chicken that i made yesterday as well and then i'm going to shred up half of this block of cheddar cheese I'm gonna start by making my cheese and chicken quesadilla. So I put some butter in my pan, I put a tortilla in the pan, then I'm just going to be putting cheese and some of that chicken from yesterday on one side of the tortilla. I'm then just going to fold the other side over and give this a grill, just like you would any quesadilla. And here is my plate with the quesadillas with a side salad and the black beans. This was delicious, but let's make a soft taco with black beans next. All I did was add the black beans with some cheese, some lettuce, and some salsa. And here is another way that you could make a delicious meal for your family. Hey guys, it is day three on this extreme budget grocery challenge and we are going to be making another meal that's less than $5. So 
So I'm excited about this. It's gonna be a sheet pan meal. So we're gonna take the other half of our five pound bag of russet potatoes. We're gonna take this smoked sausage. We're gonna take two squash and one can of green beans. We're gonna turn this into a sheet pan meal. So let's get you turned around and let's show you how we prep this meal. Oh, and I almost forgot the best part. This meal cost $4.88. It's a good one. So I just took the rest of my russet potatoes, washed, peeled, and diced those up. I'm now putting some oil and some Cajun seasoning that I had in the cabinet on top of the potatoes. I'm going to put those in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes to get started, and then I'm going to be prepping the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to slice up my two yellow squash and my smoked sausage. That's going to be added after the 20 minutes. So my potatoes come out of the oven. I add on the sausage. I add on the squash and then I'm going to be adding a can of green beans now I did drain the juice off of the green beans so I'm going to be putting that onto the sheet pan and then I'm going to be putting some more oil and more of that Cajun seasoning and putting this back in the oven for an additional 20 minutes and here is my sheet pan meal out of the oven this is smelling amazing and it looks amazing as well and here is my plate i love squash in the summertime i love green beans and potatoes and that smoked sausage added a nice flavor as well this was delicious and a lot of food hey guys we are on day four of our extreme budget grocery challenge today's meal is super cheap and super simple because it's pretty much just a dump and go. Today we're going to be using the other half of our black beans, <clears throat> one can of corn, one can of chili beans. I got the chili beans because it already has the seasonings in it. So it's got a chili sauce. And what's left of our cheddar cheese, we're going to shred a little bit over the top. I'm making this up as I go. I even made up the name. I'm going to call it cowboy beans. The best part about this meal is this is going to make a big pot of beans and it only costs $2.79. So here are the black beans in my pot. I'm going to dump this whole can of chili beans into the black beans. The black beans I seasoned up. They taste great on their own, but I'm hoping these chili beans with this chili sauce will add a different complexity of flavor. I'm also going to add this whole can of corn, liquid and all, because I want that liquid to kind of thin out the beans as well. I'm going to give this a stir, and then I'm going to bring this to a simmer on my stove for about 20 minutes. People have asked me about my spoon that rests here on the pot. I will leave a link down in the description box below. You can check it out. But here is my completed bowl with some cheese on top. This smells amazing and it tastes even better. It made a huge pot of beans, definitely enough to feed your family. And for only $2.79, this is a great deal. Hey guys, we made it. We made it to day five. We're finishing up this week. We're gonna be making some chicken and dumplings. My inspiration for this chicken and dumplings came from Southern Frugal Mama. If you've not checked out her channel, you need to. She is hilarious, such a treat to watch. I'll leave her channel link down below. I'm gonna follow her recipe for cheap chicken and dumplings, but I'm gonna add a couple twists of my own. So I'm gonna use what's left of my rotisserie chicken. I'm going to use the bone broth that I used from the rotisserie chicken, or I made from the rotisserie chicken. I'm then gonna be using three cans of cream of chicken and three cans of biscuits. Now, these biscuits are the Great Value brand. They're the small ones. This is like the 7.5 ounce can is 50 cents per can. This meal, when I calculated, it came up to $6.24. That's because I'm adding some of that rotisserie chicken. You can make this um, without the chicken and it would be like super cheap. It would only be $3.24. So it's up to you if you use the chicken. I'm using the chicken, but according to Southern Frugal Mama, you don't need the chicken. This is just as good without it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour the three cans of cream of chicken soup here into my big soup pot. 
and then I am going to be filling each can with chicken broth. You can use water if you don't have chicken broth, but I'm going to be taking that jar of bone broth that I made from the rotisserie chicken and pouring that into the cans, and it worked out perfectly because I had exactly three canfuls. So I pour the bone broth into the soup. If you see that big clump there, I had frozen it earlier in the week, so it didn't completely thaw. But I poured the bone broth into the cream of chicken soup, and then I'm going to give that a stir. I'm gonna stay with it. I have this on about medium heat, but I'm just gonna stay with it and continue stirring until the soup and the chicken broth combine. Then I'm going to be adding in a bunch of pepper. Now, you don't have to add as much as me. I like pepper. I did not add any salt because I knew that the bone broth already had salt in it. So I will taste for salt at the end, but add as much pepper as you like. I'm then going to be adding in the rest of that rotisserie chicken that I had from earlier in the week. And then I'm just gonna give this a stir. And once this comes up to a simmer, I'm going to start breaking up my biscuits into this soup mixture. So I have the three cans of biscuits. I'm gonna be tearing them into pieces about like this big and just dropping them into the soup. So I just drop them in easily. Be careful, don't get splashed and i'm just going to keep dropping keep tearing and keep stirring and this soup is going to magically grow look at all of this this chicken and dumpling yumminess i was so excited because it just made so much more once you added in those three cans of biscuits so i just let this simmer on the stove for about 20 minutes and here is my bowl it is amazing i tasted for salt and pepper it was right on point the dumplings were soft and fluffy and the chicken flavor was amazing you have got to make this this was delicious and look how much this made this is after serving myself and i still have this much left over so that's going to do it for this extreme budget grocery challenge looking back over the last five meals i do feel like it was very filling i feel like i got a lot of food for the money that i spent i did have some fresh produce i did have protein and i did have some leftovers that were eaten the next day so i do think it was a win I am excited. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe because that helps me out so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. One thing that I did want to mention before we left is I want to tell you about my new Facebook group. I have created a Facebook group for all things Mandy and I will leave that linked down below. Join us on Facebook. Let's have some chit chat. Let's share some ideas and I can't wait for you to join my all things Mandy family.